Hi. We're in that bit between Christmas and New Year. You know that bit that can feel a bit like lost in space? It's a bit boundaryless. There's a kind of, there's a sense of waiting, you know, being suspended between one bright festival and another. If you're at work, it's often a kind of marking time thing. Maybe you're just there covering for emergencies because, of course, someone has to be there and it's you. And if you're at home, you might be feeling a bit over-sugared, tired. Maybe you've got cabin fever. Maybe, just maybe, a touch too much of your most beloved family. So, here's my usual approach to this kind of boundaryless time. I clear the decks for the new year. I'm not much of a one for New Year's resolutions. I do set intentions. But why not have an end of year clearing out to make space for something new to appear in your life? So, my suggestions for breathing space. If you're at work, take yourself 30 minutes or more, if there's no one else around, and declutter that office. Shred, archive, dump anything that you don't need. Get rid. Just chuck it. Oh, and if you're an email hoarder, be brave. Press delete on your sent items, on whole folders, on all emails related to completed projects, or anything in your inbox that's older than a month. Just be brave and get rid. It'll feel fab. If you're at home, do the same in the loft, or your underwear drawer. All those, you know those boxes under the bed? Get them out, Chuck. And have a go with your brain too. I've created some end of year questions for decluttering all these garbage thoughts in here. They're down there. Pass on. Recycle. We use your old physical stuff, you know, this stuff stuff, and bin your old thoughts. They're past their use by date. Start 2016 with some space in your brain and some space in your life. Make the most of this boundaryless, endless kind of in the middle time. And of course, if you love the bit between Christmas and New Year, go festive while I declutter. Bye.